welcome back to the tank and for this I'm just basically going to have a mess about with some airbrushing on my hen lung as I mentioned in the last video I don't want to go into this tank with like no experience should we say now I've had experience in painting and weathering with other things but tanks whole new world to me I'm loving it so I'm going to go outside, got some black surface primer for the hen lung and I'm just going to start shading in some areas and then maybe apply like a white surface primer. I haven't prepped the surface or anything, I've just cleaned it up and give it like a basic clean. I'm not bothered about paint sticking on the hen lung. Um, I just want to get a technique and just try a few bits and use that as like just something just to work on, to practice the weathering and possible other things that could go wrong so that way I can preserve this like wonderful tomato tank and hopefully do the best I can with that so let's go and uh, just mess about with the airbrush so yeah I've already kind of give a pre-shade with the black lines on there and now I'm going to fill in with white but uh, I do have these parts just to do in the black and parts of the hull like the front of it there the wheels so I am using this Palazzo surface primer in black and for the hull, I'm basically just going to cover the lower half of it. And I've took these ones off to spray and then I'll do these in the black just then I know it's got behind everywhere and then I can put those back on and hopefully work from there. Oh, now for some white. So now I'm going to use this XF60 Tamiya Dark Yellow and just thin that out at a 2 to 1 ratio and then go over the hen long and just give it a few light coats of sand hopefully bring out the uh, darker lines and a bit of shadowing and stuff you can see it where the white's gone over so now hopefully all that will still show through on the sand tanks is a whole new world so it's just nice to actually have the airbrush out 
because with the trucks we use just the basic rattle cans and stuff and I use the Tamiya rattle cans for the lower hull on this um, sorry on the Tamiya one that I'm doing yeah it's just nice to have the airbrush out again it's probably not been out for 18 months and even then I think I just airbrushed a turtle on a roof and that was it I'm going to uh, thin this out I've got a little eye dropper thing here and I can uh, <laughs> get my ratio right otherwise it's guesswork and it can go a bit tits up but to my opinion it's not too bad when it comes to like stuff like that so and it's not a tank that I'm overly bothered about messing up that's why I'm uh, doing it on this <laughs> not that so I'll get this set up and then we can start adding some light sand to this so just as I did before just nice and lightly Don't worry, I won't be painting the uh, Tamir out here in the backyard in the wind like this. Like I say, this is just a practice tank, just to get an idea. It's just sunny in England. <laughs> I'll just mix up another half a pot of this just to go around the lower half and the turret uh, sorry the barrel forgot to paint the insides of there in the black like an idiot but can work with that You can see the shadowing tones through, which is what I'm looking for. Now my Tamiya will be having some form of camo but I am unsure on what particular camo at the moment because my ideas as you know are changing every two minutes but just for a quick rough blast 
just to kind of see if I've still got the airbrushing skills. I'm uh, pretty happy with how this has turned out so far. It's like ready for camo and technically ready to start weathering. You can already see the basic signs of the weathering through the sand. Now I could build that up a bit more and tone down the weathering effect to it but I do want it all murky around here and things and you know just wear muck wood wear and things like that so I'm pretty happy with it so far and I await all your comments just to see if I have done a good job or any pointers on where I could improve or have I done anything wrong etc etc but I'm pretty happy with it considering it's my first ever military vehicle that I've ever done that it would just be a case now of adding the greens and the browns or maybe build it up with a little more sandy colour and then the greens and the browns but yeah I'm pretty um, impressed <laughs> the time consuming part was the uh, cleaning out the airbrush all the time between coats I forgot how much time that took as I said I'm going for nothing special whatsoever with this it's just an experimenting tank at the moment so, and yeah I wouldn't be painting it out here in this unless it was a really warm calm calm day so yeah I hope you like the video um, it's nice to try stuff out and it's also good to fail on camera as well if it does go wrong uh, it's nice to have my errors corrected if possible so you know, feedback's always welcome thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe and I shall catch you all in the next video ciao for now guys